An online fax company, eFaxit.com, has a customer plan where a subscriber pays a monthly subscription fee of $11 and can send receive 80 fax pages at no additional cost. For each page sent or received past the 80 page limit, the customer must pay an overage fee of $0.2 or 20 cents per page. The following equation gives the total cost in dollars to send P pages beyond the plan's monthly limit. So the important thing to recognize about our equation, C equals 0.2P plus 11, is that P is not equal to the number of pages sent or received. P is equal to the number of pages beyond the monthly plan's limit of 80 pages. So we're asked if the monthly bill under this plan comes to $20.6 or $20.60, what was the total number of pages that were sent or received? So to answer this question, we'll substitute 20.6 for C and solve for P, but then recognize that P is the number of pages beyond the 80 page limit. So starting with our cost equation, C equals 0.2P plus 11. Again, we'll substitute 20.6 for C. So we want to solve the equation 20.6 equals 0.2P plus 11. So to solve this two-step equation, the first step is to subtract 11 on both sides to isolate the variable term 0.2P. 20.6 minus 11 is equal to 9.6. So we have 9.6 on the left. On the right, 11 minus 11 is zero. That's why we subtracted 11 on both sides. So we have 9.6 equals 0.2P. And now to solve for P, we divide both sides by 0.2. Notice simplifying on the right, now we just have one P or P equals, on the left we have 9.6 divided by 0 0.2, which equals 48. So again, this does not mean that 48 pages were sent and received. That means 48 pages beyond the 80 page limit were sent and received. So 80 plus 48 is equal to 128. So a total of 128 pages were sent and received. So again, the total number of pages sent and received was 128. Because the solution to our equation was P equals 48, which again means 48 pages beyond the 80 page limit were sent and received. And because 80 plus 48 equals 128, 128 pages were sent and received in that month. I hope you found this helpful.